Hi, this is Peter Moriarty from IT Genius, and today I'd like to show you how to delegate access to your mailbox to another person uh, within your organization. So what we'll do is we'll first just sign into our Gmail, and that's at mail.google.com. And once our inbox has been loaded up, uh, let's go ahead and go to our settings. So we click the settings wheel here, and then settings. And then within our settings, we want to click the accounts tab. And then down the bottom here, grant access to your account. Now, if that option is not actually available or if it's grayed out, um, you can get in touch with your support representative or your Google Apps administrator, and they will actually um, be able to enable it in the, in the back end. But um, it has been enabled for my account. So I'm going to go ahead and click the add another account here. Uh, now, there's a couple of things um, that we can do with this setup, um, we can either um, mark conversations as read when somebody else reads my emails. So if for instance, you've got a shared mailbox, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's sales at, and you want to actually ensure that everybody who needs access to the sales mailbox, um, once they've read the emails, they can actually mark the, the main emails in, those, in that sales box as read. Um, or if you'd like to leave the conversation um, unread when it's opened by others, that might be if you've got maybe a, a personal assistant um, or, or somebody who you need to delegate access to your emails so they can um, read through your emails and deal with tasks. Or maybe it's that you're, you've gone on holidays and, um, and you want to you know, leave one of your team members to be able to see what's in your inbox, but um, you, know, you don't want those emails to be marked as read. So I'm going to go ahead um, for a shared mailbox and, and mark these as read when opened by others, which is really good if you're using it for like a sales or an orders or a jobs inbox. So the rest of the team can see who's dealt with an email. And um, I'm going to click the add another account here. So it's just going to pop up and ask an email address of who I'd like to delegate it to. I'm going to go ahead and delegate it to one of my team members, Kelly. So um, I just pop in his email address there and then I hit next step. And then what it will ask is, um, it'll just confirm um, you're going to grant Kelly access to your email. Um, to complete the process, send a confirmation email to Kelly. So I'm going to send that email. And what that then means is uh, Kelly will need to check his email inbox and he'll need to then um, just accept that request and then he'll be able to, um, he'll be able to go ahead and, uh, and view all of my emails and it will mark them as read as well when he, uh, when he connects. Now, it can take up to half an hour or an hour or sometimes a little bit longer for my emails to actually um, end up in, in Kelly's mailbox. So, um, uh, you know, that's, that's something to note if it's, um, if it's taking a while for it to actually deploy. If I want to re remove Kelly's email access, I can just hit the delete button here and that will take him away from my account. Now, if I'd like to actually access somebody else's mailbox that I've been delegated to, I can go back to my inbox. And um, if you have a look here on the right hand side where, um, where my profile image is, I can actually just click on the picture there and I can see all the uh, email inboxes that I've actually been delegated to. So you can see I've been delegated a few shared ones like sales, collections and changes. Um, but there's also another one of my team members, Elaine, who's delegated me access to her mailbox. So if I want to access one of these, I can just click on Elaine's name there, which will just bring up her inbox in a new window so I can see everything um, there for her. And I can just close that when I'm done and go back to my inbox.